Hi programmers. So Docker, everyone nowadays talking about Docker, 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 and I thought I should create a Docker video, a series of videos where I can try to explain what is Docker and what, how it helps developers to build application rapidly and what are all its components and what is the exact problem it solves okay so let's start with the uh, the problem what problem it solves okay so uh, let me go with the problem first okay nowadays uh, for example or uh, now not nowadays previously i would say uh, if somebody wants to uh, install a software something into their machine okay so they have to go with the uh, a particular website to download their software for example they are going to download the node.js software then mysql software and something like that and everything will be configured or installed in this machine right so eventually what's what's going to happen like the machine will consume lots of uh, software and the performance of the software will go down right now in future i don't want to work with the node.js i just want to go with the java or dotnet some application like that or instead of mysql i want to go with the mongodb something something different databases right so again i have to install on the top of the softwares which are already installed again i have to install the mongodb something like that so again the performance of the application goes down because we have number of softwares up and running in my laptop or pc so for example to resolve this problem what if we have everything installed somewhere okay everything installed somewhere for example not just software and we just pull that application and use in our pc as soon as we build this application we just delete it so we can save the memory the installation time consuming everything will be very much efficient and all the software whatever we require for example git maven open to anything just you just name and we will get everything in okay so that is the problem we had to solve this problem one concept came into the picture that is called docker okay so let's see what is docker people just consider docker is nothing but a box okay it's it's simply a box something like this okay and that box will be having all the softwares up and running so this is the main software that is node.js Forget about those things, volume and uh, network. I'm gonna tell you later on or in the next uh, series of videos. Now in this Node.js software, which is inside this Docker, what gonna happen is that we just need to pull this Docker, okay, in our application from somewhere, okay? And that Docker will be taking care of running our Node.js application, our code, whatever the code will be inside. And the volumes is nothing but where we are putting our code for example c slash something code slash uh, express slash something like that all the application our application app dot js is here server that is our application so entire those thing will be placed inside the directory that is called volume okay and what is network now how we can access this docker container we have to decide that like that so to access this uh, network we have to go with number of configuration again uh, those two things will be uh, told in depth in the next uh, upcoming videos now guys you might be wondering that what is this linux and why i put it in this series like and why this this place is very empty okay so why i put it like this is that all the docker should run on the top of linux instance okay so that is the mandatory thing and we can run as many as docker containers we want to run on the top of the linux instance we can run anything for example node with java maven or mysql mongodb as many as application we want we can run it we can pull it on the top of the linux instance so like that we can go through it so just consider it as a box which has a software running into it and we consume that container in our application and copy the code and run it okay now let's see how does that help the developer in real time scenario okay consider his name is john so what he has to do like he wants to create a node.js application so first of all what he he does is he create a file okay that file is nothing but a configuration file okay and that configuration file 
is called as docker file okay so the first point which i wanted to discuss is that the first component that is a mandatory component that is docker file okay now as soon as we get that docker file he will send a request to somewhere to get an image of node.js so this docker file will be having a configuration of node.js saying that give me an image of a docker container from somewhere and that somewhere is nothing but a registry okay that registry will be having number of docker images up and running now i'm gonna tell you like what is image and how does that work and everything right so those those are the images uh, like for example java and node.js so in this case we are asking like okay so give me the node.js application like that so as soon as we got the application the second flow will get the application in inside his machine and then once we got this node.js application sorry image what he does is he will take that image and build a container first of all it he will build a container and then secondly he will copy the code whatever the code he is doing so for example he has a, his code up and running his in his local machine that's fine so he copies this code directly to this build container as soon as he copies that one he will run that container and as soon as he runs that container that the container will give a url and based on that url we can uh, get the api access like that so that is the power right so here we didn't install node.js right we don't have to install node.js we didn't don't need to configure the volumes nothing so you might be wondering that oh where where is my code right right this is the code which we are copying where is my code so i'm gonna tell you like how those code will be configured inside the volume which i was talking about so the those volume will also be assigned to the docker container itself okay so and the network and everything so as soon as you run that application you will get the docker uh, run uh, docker application <coughs> up and running inside uh, the docker container now in the next upcoming release of video i'm gonna show you a uh, like how we can create a simple node.js application like hello world or a get list of customers uh, where uh, we will run that application first locally and then we'll try to deploy that application uh, and perform all the operation whatever the operation we had over here like for example what is images containers docker files volumes networks all those things i'm gonna explain you each and everything inside those is of videos okay so how can i uh, explain you those things first we create a simple application that's fine then i'll try to explain you uh, some basic command what is ps what is ls what is uh, e, uh, rm what is rmi uh, like uh, what is the run command how to assign port uh, or some like lots of things we can do over here right so let's start with the simple application in the next video like just creating a simple node.js application and try to deploy it uh, on docker and let's see how it goes and in the meantime you can just subscribe to my channel please and then like and share uh, if you like and uh, let's connect it and let's see the next video thanks for watching